were you saying with the uh, temperatures? The temperatures involved? So the, some of these temperatures, some of these chemistries can shoot up to almost 2,000 degrees and they can blow torch at 2,000 degrees. And while they are self-limiting as far as what they do, when they're going off, they produce a tremendous amount of energy, which means that if my hose line is on top of it, or if I have a, a, a member who's standing on top of one of these batteries and they go off, it's gonna produce a tremendous amount of damage. And I think one of the biggest issues is the hose line. You know, we've done looks and studies and we've seen four lithium ion battery cells up against the hose line, cuts right through that hose line like butter. And we would think normally that the water coming out of that hose line would be enough to go ahead and put it down, right? So I get a small leak in a hose line. Okay, no big deal. I'm gonna proceed obviously. But if that water doesn't put that fire out and I still have 2000 degrees pressing up against the rest of that hose, I'm gonna cut that hose and I'm gonna destroy my water supply to that nozzle so team. That's a first, first line. Now you lost all your water. Right. Now the fire's gonna progress, get even worse. And who knows what's next? Yeah. And if you think about it, right, that that from a tactics point of view, that nozzle team progressed towards the, the, the front of the fire, the head of the fire. Now you have a fire going on behind you. If that catches something else on fire, you have now trapped your nozzle team between two fronts of fire with no water supply.